Hey guys, Joe Tunney here at Infinity of Kirkland in Kirkland, Washington, just outside of Seattle, taking a look at a really cool trade-in we took in last night, a 2013 Mini Cooper Paceman, all four, all-wheel drive, with just 4,000 miles. Now, if you remember back in the uh, dark ages of uh, the car business, Cars were always uh, equipped with options packages. If you wanted the kind of ad leader model, it was called the DX, and the door handles were painted black, and it had roll-up windows and no radio. And if you could step up to the next level, you'd get the LX, and everything was monochromatic and had power features. And then you had that one snobby neighbor down the street, and they could afford the EX, and the EX had a glass moonroof and such. Well, the Germans do not like option packages at all. They uh, lure you in, so to speak, with a low MSRP, and then every single thing costs extra. And I mean every single thing. And this is the quintessential example of how every single thing costs extra. This Mini Cooper has a base MSRP of $28,500. But as equipped, this one has an MSRP of $42,000 because every single thing is optional, from the wheels to the Xenon headlamps, you name it, it costs extra on this car. So this car is super, super loaded. It's just more expensive than uh, most Mini Coopers that you're gonna find out there. Let's take a look around this particular one. The Pace Man, eerily close to the word Pac-Man, and from the uh, profile, it looks a wee bit like our uh, favorite old video game character that slanted roof line. Now this one has the uh, panorama moonroof, so if you haven't had a panorama, panorama moonroof before, it's a feature you're gonna love. It's just a, essentially like the old target tops of uh, days gone by. The entire roof is uh, made out of a, acrylic glass. Leather interior, it's heated leather interior. Three spoke sports steering wheel with paddle shifters. This one has navigation, Bluetooth. It has a Tiptronic or Steptronic, they call it, automatic. And then of course, all four, uh, which is their name for their all wheel drive system. It has this cool piano black interior. And every single thing I'm telling you is an extra cost option on this car. It's super, super loaded with, I would imagine, just about every single thing that you can get. The wheels are 19 inch wheels and they do look really nice. You open up the Mini Cooper uh, little icon here in the back and the trunk opens up. So Mini Coopers, you know, they're not the biggest car in the world, but for somebody who wants something in between a, a compact car and a sporty car and a practical uh, for a season type of car, this is actually a pretty neat ticket. They drive really well. They have over 180 horsepower and they don't weigh a whole lot. And so they are, uh, as far as a performance car goes, they actually drive really well. Their handling is sharp and adept, but they sit so much taller. If, if you've driven a, a, just a standard Mini Cooper in your life, they just sit so darn low. You feel like a little kid inside of the car and every single car that comes uh, alongside you, you're constantly looking up at them. Even smaller cars seem much bigger from inside a standard Mini Cooper where in the uh, Paceman you sit so much taller that the world around you seems more normal size. Now, as I said, here's the, uh, the window sticker for that car. So base price is $28,500 and even the color Starlight Blue is a $500 option. Carbon black, gravity leather, I'll just pretend I know what that means, but I do know what $1,500 extra means. And so if I get down to the bottom here, total suggested retail price is $42,000. One high note on this car, despite its all wheel drive and its bigger size, the uh, 30 miles per gallon on the freeway is not too shabby. Here's uh, Mini Cooper's uh, motto, let's motor. I think they could have done just a little bit better with the motto. Yeah. It's a cool car. Mini Coopers, as a rule, have been a cool car for a long time. They look great. They're a little bit funky, a little bit different than anything else. Let's take a look inside. Sporty pedals, sports seats. Just slides right on in here. Now this has the Harman Kardon stereo system, so it has a really nice stereo system. And again, that panorama of the moonroof makes a small car feel so much bigger inside than without. Sometimes small cars, you know, you're on the test drive and it seems okay, but then as you drive it day after day through all the different seasons, it's like, God, I should have gotten something a little bit bigger. Well, this again, it's the best of both worlds because you get the feeling of spaciousness, but in an overall compact size. Especially if you have to commute, you have to park in downtown, 
here in Seattle, parking can be kind of a pain to find. Holiday season, you're at the mall, you're trying to get that last space, you're, you're out to dinner and you're trying to get that nice space right on the sidewalk there. It's a great size because it's not too big, it's not too small, and it lets you do the things you want without being unnecessarily large. And then, of course, 30 miles per gallon is wonderful for an all-wheel drive. Again, this car is as loaded as loaded could possibly be, but if you'd like me to take a snapshot of the uh, Monroney sticker, that's the uh, factory MSRP sticker that they put up on the windows, I can scan it or fax it right to your office, whatever you prefer. We're just about to run the car through the shop since we just took this in last night. If you'd like a copy of the shop report, I'm happy to scan or fax that to your home or office. If you have any questions at all, please feel free to give me a call anytime. My name is Joe Tunney here at Infinity of Kirkland. You can reach me at 425-821-1600 or just drop me an email anytime at joet at infinityofkirkland.com.